So my boy Derek Diso, right, came to me talking about these single girls and why they're single. So you know we had to come together on a little video for y'all. Because I know you guys like videos because that's why you're on YouTube because you watch some fucking videos. Yeah. Hey, but enjoy this shit though. Ladies, this is probably like the number one reason why you're still single. You always think that you can get that better guy. Somebody who makes you feel better than who you're talking to now. Don't be attracted to just swag and somebody who's cute. I so much swag, I carry a Louis bag. Find that guy who has a good personality, a good sense of humor, he can make you laugh like Goofy. Oh, yuck! And your chemistry is amazing. You just feel each other like everything you're saying. When you used to watch Bill Nye the Science Guy in high school, everything he said, I just was like, damn, he's right about everything. And find that guy who can make you feel secure you know what I'm saying? Always safe and, and be there for you. When you're watching a scary movie or something and Freddy Krueger comes on and he's fighting Jason and he holds you and all of a sudden you feel secure, like damn, I feel good. I'm not scared no more. A reason for being single is because you don't know how to keep all your business off of these social networks. If you're over here putting everything on Facebook and all 2,000 or 3,000 of your Facebook friends know more about your relationship than you, then you got a problem. If you're always talking about what's going on in your relationship, you're talking about your boyfriend's little hot tamale dick and how you had to bail him out of jail last night, like, come on. Nobody wants to be with you if they gotta be afraid of their business being put out there. Dramatic girls. If you're talking to a guy and chemistry's flowing, you gotta feel each other laughing and stuff, that's great. Patron shots are popping, champagne's pouring, rose petals everywhere, that's beautiful. Don't ruin it with these dramatic ass stories about your ex-boyfriend and why he left you and why you hate his family and why there's restraining orders and you had domestic violence. We ain't trying to hear none of that. We're trying to get to know you and only you, not your ex-boyfriend. That's like the quickest way to push away any guy. He ain't trying to step in and fix everything and make everything perfect and then you guys move on. He's trying to step in and make some happy ass relationship like the notebook or some kind of magic mic. Even if his name's not Mike, it's still making magic. Another reason why you could be single is because you're too insecure and you're too shy. If you don't have enough confidence or you just don't really know how to say what you feel. Baby, how do I look in this dress? Do I look okay? Wow, baby, look, you look amazing. No, I don't. You're just saying that. Well, then shut the fuck up. You have to learn to speak your mind because if you never tell us what's on your mind, then how are we supposed to know how to keep things rolling? Baby, what's on your mind? If you don't talk to me, how am I supposed to know how to fix things? It's nothing. Don't, don't, don't worry. It's nothing. Baby, I would try my absolute best to give you the world if you would just open your mouth and speak what's on your mind. That's all it takes. Oh, okay. Motherfucker won't get passionate in here. If all you seem to meet is players, cheaters, liars, those are probably guys you met at the wrong places. Don't meet no guys in no party at 4 in the morning, no club at 5 in the morning, and no strip club at 6 in the morning. And don't go to no rave at 9 a.m. and meet him at some kind of EDC, electric daisy carnival, when he's dressed up like a Power Ranger wearing flashy ass lights, popping mollies and doing ecstasy. Don't meet them at the mall when they're walking around, dehydrated, starving, trying to talk to every single girl in the mall. The only two guys with no bags in the mall. Meet your guys at Applebee's or TGI Friday, which is better because they got the fingers. Whew, so bomb. Another reason is if you're talking to somebody or you just meet somebody, don't act like somebody that you're not. Just be yourself from the beginning because if you act like something you're not, when you get in a relationship, then they're gonna be like, wait, you're not how you were when I first met you. What the fuck's going on? So if you're just yourself from the start, they'll know who you really are and they'll know your flaws and everything so they won't expect more of you all the fucking time. That way, they'll know what they're getting themselves into. You know what I'm saying? I'm just kidding, that was irrelevant as fuck. So anyways, I hope you guys liked that video that we put together for you. You know it's nothing but love. That's all it is. I love you guys. Like it. Like this video. Oh my gosh. Boner. But subscribe to me. Share my video. Go check out Derek's channel. And you know, we can, we can change the world. Oh shit, wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up.
I forgot. I so forgot. Hey, my subscribers make the world go round, though. Not yours, but mine. Yeah.